Using Affinity Designer, I'm going to show you how to make another simple logo using text and some basic shapes. To start, I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, Artistic Text tool. I've got my font selected, but up here in the upper left corner is where your font menu is. Uh, select the font you would prefer. I'm going to use a couple of different uh, variations of the same font. So for this one, I'm going to select all of the text switch it over to the um, bold variant. I'm going to position it with the move tool. Again, I'm going to change the uh, font to the light variant of the same font. I'm um, going to position this. You can see I've got some snapping turned on. Um, to do that, you would go to your uh, view menu and then um, turn on your snapping. If I can find it here. It would be the uh, View Menu, Snapping Manager, and then you would click the Enable Snapping. Once that's turned on, you have snapping for um, object versus object. Uh, I believe there's an option in there also for uh, snapping to particular areas of the entire image with the uh, Snap to Grid. Then you can see the uh, green snapping for the uh, overall document or the uh, red lines for snapping against uh, other objects on the page, I believe. There you go. I'm going to shift select both objects. Use my uh, arrow keys just to kind of nudge that. I can shift arrow to move in uh, 10 pixel increments. That looks pretty good to me. Now I want to go ahead and use my um, shape tool, specifically the donut tool, to drop a shape on top of this O. I'm going to replace that. If I use the shift key, I can constrain the size of it. While I'm holding shift, if I press the space key, I can position it. Now I'm going to adjust the uh, interior size of that opening. I want to make that a little smaller. Just something that looks more like a record. That looks good. Over here on the layers palette, I'm going to pull that over to the top. And you can see uh, as I move it, uh, there's a gray highlight. When it's uh, indented like that, it means it's going to insert it inside of the object uh, or the layer. If I pull it to the left, you can see it extends all the way across the layers palette. That means it's going to position it above or below that object. I'm going to give it a little bit more position here with my move tool. Just make sure that looks lined up and spaced equally on both sides. Looks good. I'm going to select these objects again, adjust their color. I think I'm going to grab something from the uh, image, the background image. So I'll grab my eyedropper tool up here in the upper right corner. Click and drag. And then I can tap on the color swatch once it's picked up a color. And that's just a little bit too light, so let's grab another one. Is 
tap to apply. I like that. I'm going to grab my O and do the same thing. I've already picked up my color, so I can do that. I think I want to go a little darker with that, so it looks a little bit more record-like. There you go. Let's give these guys a little bit of a glow or something. So I'm going to go to my Effects palette. Give it an outer glow. Oops, got the wrong one selected here. Let's turn that off. Have to actually select the effect. Adjust the radius up. I think I'd like to grab a little bit more color from this uh, record again. Just a hint of that blue. Nudge the intensity up a bit. Good. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and select this text again, uh, both of these. I want to convert those to curves. I'm going to hide my donut over here in the layers palette. I'm going to uncheck that. And I want to grab, I want to ungroup this. Uh, sonic text. And I want to delete that O. Now, with that done, I'm going to select these items again. I'm going to group those by right clicking and selecting group. Uh, additionally, I can do that in the menu by uh, selecting the layer menu and grouping. And then I'm going to turn my donut back on, my record. And if I select both items, I'm going to group those, copy them, control C, and I'm going to paste with control V. And up here at the top, you can see I've got some um, menu items that let me flip it horizontally, flip it vertically, or rotate it uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to flip it vertically. I'm going to move it down just a bit, line it up with the object above, and using my transparency tool, I'm just going to drop some transparency on that so that it looks sort of like a reflection. I can position that a little better. Nudge up the uh, center of that transparency. It doesn't look like it got my circle. I don't think I grouped that with the rest of it. But we can go ahead and copy that, paste it down. Just nudge it down with my arrow key. Line it up with the O above it. Let's hit it with that transparency again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If you have additional suggestions for um, tutorials you'd like to see or other tools you'd like me to demonstrate, just leave a comment below.